Welcome, Bulldog fans, to another edition of our Coach's Corner. Today we have two special guests. Um, we just concluded our quarter side beef raffle with Ben Frobos from Frobos Meat Locker. Um, ben helped us with that. Thank you very much, Ben. You're welcome. And we also have senior Ethan Ben. Um, we're excited to get back here. The last time we had uh, Coach's Corner, we were talking about a big weekend coming up, and, and our kids rose to the challenge. Uh, we went out to Ottawa Glandorf, had a great win in Ottawa Glandorf against a state rate team, and we're really proud of that. Um, over the last week, we've we've gathered three more wins. Um, the last the last two coming with um, Eastwood and Lake, and and uh, the the Eastwood game was a was a good game because um, it wasn't we didn't jump out on them right away early. You know, it was a it was a battle. We fought. Eastwood came out and played well. They had a great scouting report on us. Um, and then through the second, third, and fourth quarter, especially the, the third quarter, uh, we really we really got our stuff together and played a lot harder and pulled away from it. Uh, the guys did a really good job. So currently we're sitting at 17-0. and 0. Uh, We just had our sectional draw on Sunday. We received the number one seed in our section, in our district actually. Um, and we're going to play at home on February 26th at 7 o'clock. It's a new format for the tournament this year where the higher seed gets the host. So we're looking forward to that and hopefully we can get some people out here. Um, there will more than likely be tickets available to the public for this. It's a little bit different um, uh, environment and a little bit different um, arrangement with tickets. So hopefully we can get some some fans out here too. So uh, that's where we are. Um, ben, I just wanted to bring you into this coach's corner and really thank you for your help. Um, putting together our fundraiser, we sold 488 tickets, um, which was really, our goal was 500, um, which I didn't know if we could reach or not, but, um, you know, I felt if we sold more than 300, we were doing well, and, and we surpassed that, so thanks for your help with that. You're welcome. We're, we're really glad to help, trust me. And, you know, it was a, it's a really easy fundraiser for you, too, because, you know, the parents do uh, a large portion of the selling for you and turn those tickets in. And it, you really make bank fast with it, too. Uh, so we, we really far exceeded those goals. Oh, yeah. I would say so. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And uh, and uh, we had uh, Tanya DeWeese won the, uh, won the raffle, and I swear it wasn't rigged. We shook the heck out of the tickets, and, and Mr. Frobos here pulled them out. Um, but nonetheless, it's nice when uh, when a parent of a player can win. Let's do this drawing. All right, Brandon's bringing it up. 488 tickets. We'll let Mr. Frobos pull it out, and hopefully, do hopefully I, we can mix, read it. Whatever it you want to do, you're the something? you're the you're the sausage king. Is there somebody you don't want to pull out? <laughs> Brian Vorst. Brian Vorst. <laughs> do okay. not want to pull that okay. one out. Okay. Wow, is that really fair? Is that really fair? Ha! Of huh? course it is. Let's see. We have Tanya DeWeese as the winner. Tanya, congratulations. Yes. <laughs> um, so also with us, we have Ethan Ben. Ethan's a senior with us. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit with him. You know, the first question I have for Ethan, um, Ethan, what is your experience? How, how long have you been playing? And, and, and tell me about growing up as a basketball player and, 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 and coming into high school. And, and what can our younger basketball players look forward to? What should they expect? Uh, I've been playing for a pretty long time. Probably, like, I started in Mavericks. So uh, that'd be fifth and sixth grade, or yeah. did you start before that? Uh, fifth and sixth grade. Okay. I played at like, the Y when I was yeah. younger. Okay. Uh, time really flies. I'm, I'm a senior already. I didn't really expect it. It crept up. Uh, just work hard. It all pays off. Seeing all the guys grow. We've all worked really hard since we were all young, and here we are looking to do big things. Yeah, we're, we're certainly off to a good start. Um, you know, we had a pretty good team last year, and, and I think we have a pretty good team this year. And, and even this year's practice compared to last year's practice, I, I feel are different. Do, do you do you have a, do you feel a difference in practices too? Uh, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of energy. Yeah. We just work really hard, yeah, cheer each other on. Yeah, and we don't have a whole lot of wasted time. I mean, even today we went, you know, we watched film till about 3.15. We stretched and we were on the floor till, we. I looked the clock, we were off at 4.31. Yeah. So an hour 15 practice, but you guys really go hard yeah. in practice. Um, and tell me about that. Does that, uh, you know, you, you bust your tail in practice, 
but does it usually make the practice go by a little faster? Yeah, I feel like when we work really hard and it's energized, it's more fun than just three hour practices and yeah. keeps us off our feet. Yeah, yeah, and I think it helps the other guys as well. You know, it helps you and it helps the other guys. And I'll be honest, an old guy like me, the more energy you guys have, it, 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 it helps me as well because then I have to keep up with you guys. I don't like being the most energetic guy <laughs> in the gym. We're in trouble if I'm the most energetic. <laughs> Ethan hit a huge shot in our Oak Harbor game last year. And it, it was, I, I, I'll remember it until the day I die um, or until I get dementia, whichever comes <laughs> first, Ethan. Um, but I felt when you shot that shot, I, I, for some reason I knew it was going in. I mean, you played with a ton of confidence, and I think you're playing with a ton of confidence right now too. I mean, you're shooting a, the ball really well right now. Um, I mean, sometimes I have to yell at you to shoot the ball. We had a discussion <laughs> about that the other day. Um, so, you know, Ethan has a very specific role with us. We definitely want him scoring. He's talking about the fact that he doesn't want to score 20 points, but when he gets a chance to score, uh, we want him. We want him to go do that. So, Ethan, we um, so we clinched a share of the league on Saturday night with that win at Lake. Um, what's it like going into? We won it your junior year. Um, now we've won it your senior year. Talk about being a league champion, what that means. Uh, it feels great being at the top of the league, but uh, I think we're looking to make a, a run in the playoffs. And a league championship is always a good thing, but we're looking to do better things. Ethan puts that a good way. You know, we've been talking about all year just checking boxes. You know, first game, okay, are we ready to play? Then we had our first big non-league opponent in Defiance. Okay, we could check that one off. Then we go along, we have little check boxes all the way through. Our our holiday tournament, that was a checkbox for us. We we could beat Perrysburg, a Division One team. Um, we won our championship. We won our Martin Luther King game against Toledo St. Francis. Um, so far, we've gone through the league uh, undefeated. So each time, we're checking a box. And I don't know about you, Ethan, but I feel like we have a few more boxes to check off before the end of the year. I agree. Okay. Now, a big key for us is going to be staying healthy. I mean, the COVID thing is scary. We've moved some games here. We play Wasion tomorrow. We moved our Genoa game um, up to Wednesday. Um, and, uh, and we have those two. And then Saturday we go to St. Ignatius. Ethan, what do you think about going to St. Ignatius? That's a, that's a big boy team there. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a pretty good game between us. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be a big game too. Um, our guys have always, every time we've challenged them, have exceeded our expectations. And um, I think that Saturday... When we get to that, hopefully hopefully we continue to do that. Now, we do have two stops along the way, right? We have a game at Wasian and a game against Genoa that we certainly have to take care of business. Um, but we're looking forward to those. And then we'll have some time off here to make sure that we get healthy, stay healthy, whatever the case is. Uh, and then we go into our sectional tournament and hopefully into a good tournament run. Ben, again, we want to thank you for yeah. coming out and helping us. You're welcome. Thanks for having us. Anytime you want to come to our gym, you're welcome to be here. Um, Ethan, congratulations on what's been a good, a, a great year so far. Thank you. Hopefully, we can continue, and you know we're going to keep doing these every week. If we keep doing well, you never know. It may be your rotation to do one from, you know, Bowling Green or Columbus or something. Who mm -hmm. knows, <laughs> right? And then we can really talk about checking boxes mm -hmm. off. All right, thanks, Bulldog fans. We appreciate you spending time with us. Uh, stay healthy. We'll see you in a couple weeks, and go Bulldogs.